Poly Apex. Yeah, a quick video here. Uh, recently, uh, Wax Packs and I went to a local card shop. Well, not so local, but local enough uh, that it was worth the drive. Uh, like about 45 minutes away from us or so. DJ Sports Cards. Uh, it's in Oxford, Mass. Um, definitely one of those vintage card shops. Obviously, he sells a lot of new stuff, right? Um, got a lot of new inventory and everything else. But one of those old school card shops that you can go into, you can touch the cards, you can feel the cards. Not everything is slabbed up behind a case. You know, it's uh, has a lot of boxes, everything else that you can see. Sorry, little disturbance. Um, so good card shop, good atmosphere, nice guy, willing to work with you on stuff and you know, some of the stuff he had was a little overpriced. Some of the stuff he had was a good bargain. So here's some of the things that I, I grabbed. In all, I think I spent I spent $13 in all. Um, so first thing I got was, this was in his $5 bin, and then he ended up giving it to me for $3. But it's a uh, advanced, <laughs> I don't know who advanced is. But again, this is more or less me buying the card, not the slab. So Gem Min 10 of the Mark McGuire, the rookies. So it, it does look pretty good uh, as far as card goes. And you see it was once uh, $150. So what a deal I got. But um, but no, this is, is just one of those things that, you know, since it's slabbed up and it's in good shape, it's probably, you know, got to be close to, if, if I ever got it regraded, I don't think, if I ever got it regraded in this, they would, if they cracked the slab, they would never give it a 10 because they wouldn't want to give it the same grade as someone else. But if I ever cracked it and then resubmitted it, it might grade out a pretty, it would definitely grade out high over an eight or maybe a nine. So for three bucks worth, worth it. And then the other things I got were a lot of vintage. So he had a huge box of vintage cards. Uh, Wax Packs Adam asked if he had any that were kind of beat up and everything else that he was going through and he said he did So I got this rookie card the Ron Guidry rookie card. This is a little better shape It's still a little rough around the, the corners and stuff like that, but got this for a dollar and then uh, He threw this in there. I think for like 75 cents. This is the Bob Gibson strikeout leaders But the problem is I didn't look at the back it had some writing on the back and I don't think he did either so um, but everything else here uh, you know, I got about, I got it for like 10 cents a card, more or less, uh, probably. So everything together was $13. So, uh, there's a hundred cards here. So after that, it was like $10 for these. So it was like 10 cents a card, uh, essentially. Um, but what it is, is I got a lot of 1958 cards, right? In real rough shape, nothing like in mint, but that was kind of the point. I just kind of wanted to grab a bunch of, uh, late vintage cards or early vintage card. I don't know how you want to phrase that. But 1958, you got a couple of 1959s, a handful of 1960s, and then some 61s. All right, various players in various conditions. Um, and I got the Series 2 checklist there. And then... This one going into uh, just a single 1963, then a couple of 1964s, some 65s, right? Yep, 65s. I actually got a handful of 65s here. I don't know how many I got. Probably about 15 or 20. And as you see, the shape isn't all that great, but, you know, always fun to have, like, a, a vintage vintage cars to go through and then some 66s no 67 just jumping into the 68s for some reason i don't know i just I, again i wasn't any rhyme or reason why i grabbed these i just grabbed some and then just put them in a pile and if the condition was in a in a shape i don't know this picture like this one like huh what you taking a picture of me um he didn't have any rhyme or reason for like how he had the cards stacked. And there were some Hall of Famers in the box, but mostly he said, if we can grab some commons, um, you know, he'd give us a real good deal. And then he did, you know, 10 cents a card, whatever it was. Uh, this is David Johnson here, but it's a lot of paper loss. But, uh, 
but yeah, no big names, no big stars, but a lot of good commons and, and, you know, some things I'll make a bundle for and, you know, maybe put on eBay or something like that, or, you know, as I make, and then we round it out with 1970 cards, but nothing, uh, it wasn't like some of the real vintage stuff that he had. Uh, I think Wax Packs even got like an old Bowman card in his, but some of the names that he had were a little pricey. I think, you know, you could probably do a little better on eBay in some cases, but you know, for shops around here that aren't just all about modern cards and aren't just all about slabs and grades and, uh, and everything else, like it was fun to go through this box. It was a three card row box, probably 3000 cards in there thumbing through, finding some stars, finding some in this condition and just saying to him, hey, you know, I, I pulled out maybe like 300 cards and said, let me know which ones you don't mind letting go. And these are the 100 that he said, yep, you can have these. And, you know, again, like 10 cents a piece. So like 10 bucks, I was happy for that. And it's always fun to make a deal. It's always fun to, you know, feel the cards and have that true card store experience that you don't really get so much anymore with uh, with eBay and everything else. So... If anybody is in the area, I know I got a couple of people who do the uh, giveaways and stuff who live in the New England area. So if you get a chance, check him out. He's a, he's a pretty nice guy. Pretty fair. I think he, if you really wanted to, he'd, he'd make a deal with you uh, on something, if you, especially if you were spending quite a bit. But uh, by all means, you know, if you guys have any good card shops too that you guys like and you know kind of are is like DJs where it's you know that old old school vintage feel not so less like you're not going into a a modern showcase right this is a, an actual uh you know shop you got things on the wall it smells like <laughs> cardboard everywhere <laughs> like it's uh it, it definitely was a, a a good way to spend a couple of hours um, especially if you enjoy collecting cards so you get a chance dj sports card but yeah if you guys got a similar shop like that let me know love to hear about it and uh yeah hope you guys liked what i got 13 bucks all in i'm pretty happy with it and you know if i can turn around and make some money i'll go back there again and you know because i think uh ultimately what i'm trying to do is like i said i'm trying to build out some of the real vintage sets so if i can grab more and more of those cards start with low grade ones and then move my way up to higher grades over time i think that'll be fun all right, guys, till the next one. See ya.